rather than drawn on. I'm gonna change this to red. Don't know where the white is coming from, but uh, it's not supposed to be there. It's not there on that. There must be a gap there. That's what it is. Anyway, that's that red there. Can reduce the color. The take some of the light out of the color out of it and put some black into it just so that it's just there you can see it but it's just there uh, I'll leave those ones because they help define the outline now in fact I'll change these red I think that one I want the ones along the bottom that one Just unhighlight that again. This bit, where do I want you? You can stay, I think. No, you don't make a difference, so you can go. Quite often you'll find as you go back through, some of your outline doesn't make a difference anymore to, to what's actually on there, and then you can remove it. That helps save a couple of layers for you. i leave that that colour. I just need to bit on the top of his head when I can find it. I'm also going to adjust this because I'm not happy with how dark his eyebrow is, it should be a lot lighter for the effect uh, like that, Looks, it makes it look a touch more natural and I'll do the same with his eyes as well the outline, just going to reduce the black and I'm increasing the white and that is going to re effectively reduce the transparency of the black lines and change it to the colour that I want it to be that looks good in my opinion his eyes look a lot shinier now uh, so I need to ungroup that just looking over here seeing if there's anything that I can change I'm going to leave that line in what about that one yeah that one can go you can go you as well. Right, so what I need to do now is just find the line on the top of his head. I don't know why I left all that. That one. Change that to red. Uh, but I do need to put a touch more red on there. So, how I'm going to do that without going and creating a new shape and then coming back and putting it here. I'm going to copy this shape and paste it there and that gives me two of the same shape. Now, I'm going to press A go to change vinyl shape I'm then going to change it to the shape that I want it to be which I'm going to use this circle press yes and that's going to give me a big giant circle there but what I can do is then reduce that so that it fits where I want it to fit and again that's that saved me loads of work just doing it like that rather than having to go and select the shape and then move it to where I want it to be etc etc I'm going to take some of the colour out of it though put it there and then we've got a bit of shading and his, his helmet looks okay I think I need to fix the outside line that line there I think I need to fix that yeah that needs to be red but I'm also going to move that and put it behind the helmet the colour on the side of his face just so that it looks a bit better than where it was sat it doesn't interrupt the gold then which was what happening what was happening where it was uh, I'm streaming Forza Horizon 2 uh, and that is actually my break time so what I'm going to do is highlight all this deselect that, group it and save it then we're going to go put it on the bonnet of the Audi and then I'll take a quick break and I'll show you guys some of my other paints uh, maybe some other people's work as well if they behave nicely or they ask me really nicely So, load layer group, that's going to give me a giant Hulkbuster. Reduce the size. Now, because I'm working on a quite a large scale compared to how big it is on the car, just because 
when you're looking at it on the, in the vinyl editor, you might be able to see some of the inner workings of how I put it together, or a, an, a stray line here and there. But now that it's been reduced in size, the detail is a lot less focused, and what you get is the picture you're trying to make. See, so look how much better his uh, helmet looks compared to the way it did look. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Look a lot better when he's all done, but I think that looks pretty good. I could do a bit more shading in the side of his head, but that's it. So, I'm going to save that, and I'm bloody starving, so I'm going to quickly grab something to eat, do a biscuit or two, uh, have a cigarette. If you've got any questions, I'll, I'll be right here on the chat, so if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, but just forgive me if I'm a bit quiet for a few minutes, okay? Will do, mate.
<laughs> He's still at work. <laughs> This is one of my best paints I've done. This is my uh, Storm Island paint. I'll show you a couple more. I've got my Star Wars paint here. Same bonnet image, but I painted a different image on the roof. Oops. I'm going to skip all the way around to my Tesla. Some of you guys will have seen. I've got lots of other paints, but I'm keeping this quick today. Alright, Stella Steve. Thanks for stopping by. This is my breaking bad paint. Right, anyway, let's get back to painting. For those of you new, this is the car we're working on. This is my Iron Man paint that I'm working on right now. As you can see, it's got it's already got a finished piece on the side. Um, I, I painted an armor effect over the back. See it a bit better like that. Uh, it's a marble sticker that I use really faintly on the roof. It's actually under some uh, transparent layers. And the Hulkbuster armor that we're currently working on now is there on the bonnet. So, we'll get back to that. Thanks for watching tonight, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope I'm able to teach you something. So, I'm using black as a background just because it helps him stand out a bit better and also because uh, it the car is quite dark so having a dark background helps me make sure that my shading is right sometimes if you shade something on a white background and then put it on a dark car it'll be too bright and vice versa if you do it on a dark background and then paint it on a white car it could be too dark or too light or whichever way I was saying right so since we've done just about done the mask uh, what I'm going to do is just add a tiny touch more to it and then I'm going to move on to his chest piece and uh, show you how I would go about trying to get some reflected light. So it looks like something's glowing. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Just going to put a black splodge down here as well just because I'm there and it needs it, so. that there and that right just gonna put another one here as well this is how it starts you end up I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna do this and suddenly you've done half of what you weren't meant to do and nothing of what you were meant to do So that's okay there. Right, so we're going to go to the chest piece. 